Hey what's up YouTube this is Tito Pay and right now I will show you how to use the Project Zomboid Map Editor. This will be just an introduction but later on I will most likely post a how to. But first you can download it from the Project Zomboid forum and from there just go to the forums. I'll post a link in the description to the place modding source materials then the, you download the tiled map editor and the project zomboid modding tools if you want to use the bl a blank map with just the tutorial house you can just download it from here also I already have it I already have it downloaded so we don't have to really go through that but anyways you install the tiled map editor it should be called something like tiled 7.0 something like that and along with that you can move them both to a different folder I put my I put mine for the tutorial on the desktop and called it project zomboid stuff you extract the PZ mod tools and then you can you can move the .dmx file that you downloaded from the website or if you want to use the map from project zomboid you can get it from the game itself by going to the project zomboid folder that you extracted which is the demo not the not the tools the demo and then you go to zombie.jar open it with winrar go to media and then extract test.tmx which is usually extract without confirmation and then from there you can take it from the media folder and move it into the mod tools folder you have to make sure that the test.tmx is inside of the mod folder or the tmx file that you're using is inside the mod folder because if it isn't it'll give you some error that you are missing some stuff that the map is using but anyways once you have that you can open it by pressing file open and then opening it from the mod tools and make sure that it is set as csv instead of these for the reason being that that's the one that Project Zomboid uses. Afterwards use like what I like to call this is the viewing area which you can view the map that you are using and it's usually recommended not to edit this area the highlighted tutorial area because that's you can't really move spawn points or anything and it's it's probably gonna mess up Bob and Kate if you do but anyways over here we have the tiles tile sets which include floors and stuff like that and we have the layers which is probably the main thing that I will be talking about and to move the map around you use the middle mouse button and you just drag it around and zooming in is control zoom in which is the middle mouse button scroll up or scroll back anyways these are the tiles I mean the layers and you, when you're using the layers you can show and hide and they're numbered from the lowest to the highest zero is the floor one is second floor and it goes on and on up to floor eight which is most likely the roof but if you they're numbered by doors furniture and you shouldn't be putting they're used that way so then they're layered like a picture like in photoshop or something and you shouldn't be putting you should put the tile set into their correct layer so you should put walls in the walls tiles in the walls layer you should be putting doors in the doors layer. You shouldn't you shouldn't be putting walls into the furniture layer because it's either not going to come out right or it's just not going to look right. Anyways, there are the types of the type of layer it is is represented by an icon which this is the blue icon which is the cosmetic properties of the world. 
which include the floor and stuff like that and then the pinkish icon is the zoning ob object icon which represents this the gray areas hiding it and stuff like that but these are usually where items spawn or where zombies can spawn like this gray box area represents the represents the tutorial house and I'm pretty sure these represent where items can spawn but anyways if you click on the checkbox on the layer like the walls you can hide that wall and show it up again and finally is the opacity which you can if you have that layer selected you can make it less opaque until it's completely gone and this won't show up in the final game so you can this is basically used to so you can see around like if you're building something right here but you want to see behind the layer you can just go like this and it'll be hidden same with the checkboxes those won't show up in the final game but you will be able to see them in the tiled map editor and right now it's not necessarily a bug but you can usually see stuff from the house from the outside and that's because that layer is on top of the other layer and that the game itself it'll make sure that that doesn't happen so this is just because of the editor and these are the tools up here and that's pretty much it alright YouTube See ya.